eight. Let's do long division. They're asking us to long divide 4x to the fourth plus 8x cubed plus 4x minus 1 by 2x squared plus 1. Notice that I left a little space here. This is the mistake most people make. They don't recognize, hey, where's the quadratic term? Where's the x squared? Always put a plus 0x squared in there. Write it in if it's not there. It wouldn't even be a bad idea to write it into here. But we'll, because you see how there's a linear term missing? We don't have an x term. But we're not going to mess with that. We don't have to really worry too much about that because we'll, we'll worry about it when we start writing it underneath here. So here we go. How many, how many times does 4x to the 4th or 2x squared go into that? Divide this by this, and what do you get? You get 2x squared. Now I multiply. When I multiply that back, I get, remember, use parentheses. And you'll notice that I'm going to put an extra space there because I know, see how I'm missing an x term there? So I'm going to put an extra space there because that's going to be right there. You'll see it when you do it. When I multiply it in, I get 4x to the 4th plus 0x cubed because there's nothing there. Wait, why is it? Oh, yeah, because so there's no Plus 2x squared. Okay. Now, the bigger, another big mistake people make all the time is they forget to put parentheses around and to distribute that negative in. Let's distribute that negative in. Negative, negative. Add down. That's gone. That was the whole point. This still adds down. It becomes 8x cubed. This adds down. Remember, there's a negative there, so I've got negative 2x squared. See how that worked? And then just bring these ones down, straight down. Plus 4x minus 1. Now let's do it again. Color change to green. Divide this by this. What do you get? 4x plus 4x. Multiply it. And remember to leave that space. Multiply it. Use parentheses. See how I'm going three? See how there's three different things there? Multiply that through. You're going to get 8x cubed. Don't forget your parentheses. Plus 0x squared because there's nothing. There's no x there. Plus 4x. Hey, that's a good thing because guess what's going to happen? When I subtract, I'm switching to yellow, when I subtract and distribute this negative in, I get that's gone, that becomes negative 2x squared, and that's gone. Ooh, I like this. You know what's going to happen? And don't forget the minus 1. What's going to happen now when I divide this by this? I get negative 1. Multiply it through. Don't forget about your parentheses. Multiply it through. You get negative 2x squared minus 1. And I'm doing what with all of those? I'm subtracting them. So what am I going to get? I'm going to get 0. What does that mean that I got 0? That means that this right here, this is the big takeaway now, this is a factor of this. Let me explain. If I divided 8 into 24, what would my remainder be? No, it would go into it three times, and what would my remainder be? And what does that mean about 8 times 3? 8 and 3 equal... 8 times 3 equals 24. That means 8 and 3 are factors of 24. What does that mean about 2x squared plus 1 and... 2x squared plus 4x minus 1. What do those things multiply to equal? They multiply to equal that big mess that you had at the beginning. In other words, they are factors of that original qu quartic equation. Guess what I could find now? Since these are both quadratics, what could I do further if I wanted to? They're not asking us to. I could now, nope, I, I could now find, use the quadratic formula to find more zeros. Now, there could be, they could be complex. There could be four zeros. It could be two zeros. There could be three zeros. You don't know how many zeros there are. There's going to be a four, up to four zeros, and some of them might be imaginary and some of them might be real. I'm getting ahead of myself. That'll be the next lesson. But that's how you do long division.